Navi versus Tong Fu. Don't look like they are going to be contesting. Uh, they're picking a gyrocopter Rubik, which means that you're going to be able to split the experience really evenly between Navi's uh -oh. trial lane. Oh, they pick it. They Pudge. took the punch. You can see Dendi smiling right now. Oh, yeah. He wanted it bad, and Puppy gave it to him. Pudge making his second appearance here in our upper bracket semifinal. And I'd say the crowd's pretty happy about it, not too upset with the chancy pick, as you had uh, explained how it would be chancy, but there's the man. Which is important. The thing is about Pudge, if you go and you try to apply pressure to the map, you're going to force people back no matter what. That's just the effect Pudge has all the hope. Boom! Max Rage finds hell! And Gunna Notch, his first kill of the game, he shot that perfectly. The cover of Smoke will have the invis if he wants it. He's going to have a lot of targets here. Does he have the firepower behind him is the question. Oh, he gets a Dark Seer instead of a Rubik, locks him down, but immediately has to bail out. No, what an impale! Caught the whole team, vacuum back into the call down. Dindy biting up more than he can chew. He will be cleaned up. Now Puppy caught out in the middle of the fight. Moo makes it out just barely by the skin of his teeth. Place secures another kill. And Tong Fu is going to continue to push. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook. How brought all the way back to the base. Cleaned up by the fountain and now puppy gonna be caught out king j re-engaged upon weird little skirmishes breaking out behind the tower good vacuum and they're gonna dust it as well now dindy getting back involved in front song shang gonna be dismembered and cleaned up in the meantime king j trying to tp away behind the fight shackle does not latch we actually just saw the chin pudge combo at the international that happened yeah, and now Havos is going to keep going at Moo. They want to go for this. Oh, oh no! no! Hooked him back. The impale's there to bail him out, though. Visit Familiar's trying to help out. Doom on Dindy will probably seal his fate. But Moo will be cleaned up as well. And Dindy denied himself. Oh, he got denied by the Chen Free. Puppy was falling. Oh, banana still hooked. Oh, the Rubik grabbing the hook. And now they're going to be able to... Do a little hook another own. Cliff gonna be used, and the hook comes out. What a hook! Sanshin grabbed out. They're gonna mech through it. The Havos is just going to town. He is doomed though. Now gonna be cleaned up. The call down connects on a couple. The rest of Tong Fu falling back. Another hook. Gonna grab him back. But Dindy using that haste room. Need to be able to just eliminate somebody from the fight, very similar to what Mu can do for Tong Fu. So. If he had been a little bit farther up, he would have been able to throw the hook, but the thing is there was a range creep in the way. And there oh, it is. there it is, yep. Banana going for a ride on the Dindy Express. Welcome to the well. And Tower, that's kind of what they did during the bottom uh, bottom fight, but Halo's going to try to TP out here. Oh, man, it's going to be close. Made it. Barely able to get away. Now Navi, though, in position. They might try something. Dindy's going to try it again. Can he? Got him that time. See you in the base, Moo. Welcome home. And <laughs> a post. Not that he needed to. Gives him a little assistance. Turn back because, again, Halos just he could just easily get doomed. And even if he gets sent home by the Chen, it doesn't matter. All Fonic getting caught mid. And there's a hook to grab Moo. Fonic wind running away. Beautiful impale. Caught multiple targets. Here he comes back in. Vendetta plus power shot brings it down. Vacuum wall counter initiation. Call down's going to connect. Havos in trouble, isolated away from his team, will be cleaned up. And again, Kuro comes in with the impale. Now he's telekinesis back. Double kill going the way of San Sheng this time. How showing off that BKB. And Dindy went for it again. Late on pulling the trigger. There's the grave chill on Puppy as he tries to retreat. Homing missile tracking down Funic. Soul Assumption makes it a triple kill for San Sheng. <laughs> Who's going to give it away? He just goes to Tong Fu. And now, charging back out, Dindy gonna be spotted, and he gets, no, he doomed the Chen, that's a much better choice. Oh, he got him! He got him! Not gonna follow it all the way, because we got a battle to watch with Puppy. Trying to get away, fun it gonna be telekinesis back. And they will be able to get him as well. There you go, so a one-for-one one trade. And wow, Hal is still alive down there. Finally, managing to bring him down, so that... And we might see another engagement breakout. Kuro. Up, oh, there we go. The hook got uh. it. Zan Shing taking the long ride to Shanghai. Welcome home. Navi 
Gets another kill. Here we go. Kuro going to be caught out in the river at the same time. Four staff tries to get him to safety. Does not have Carapace. Shackle shot. Almost perfect. Was perfect, but the impale caught everyone as well. Kuro now with the Carapace. Counter initiation. Down goes the wall. That's just the most chopping wood on Banana, though. Gets the kill. Now he's going to go to work on King J. Here comes Dendi. Vacuum into the wall once again. He's dismembering. Moo going to town on him. Havos makes it a double kill. Now they're going to get another one. Navi charging back out at King J. Will make it a full five-man wipe. They found that breath of air they needed. Havos believes. Going to be telekinesis down. Now the counter initiation. Drop down. Moo. Catches Funnick and now caught out and the Hawk brings Hal back out. Havos going to tell on Moo. Hal is down. Moo and Havos going toe to toe. Soul Assumption does nothing. Sanshane can do nothing. Four staff on Moo gets him back. Now they're going to try to chase it. They got him. King J trying to find Funnick. Four staffs to safety. In the meantime, Dendi. This could be a fight Dyer's that decides this game if they have an engagement outside of these tier twos. Navi spotted out. By the familiars, we'll see Stun go out, and he's gonna go fishing and find Sunshine! Cleaned up, so immediately coming back out, and Kuro catches Banana, Shackle is there! Going to town, call down on Moo! Moo being dismembered, being locked down, being killed off, and how can't stand up to the damage! Havos has gone crazy! That's a double kill for the big man with the little man on his shoulders! And Navi! Dare we speak it, dare we whisper it. A game that seemed to be out of control. Banana now caught out. There's the shackle off of the creep. Carapace is up and another kill for Havos. Five are down. One set of racks is down. They're gonna go to work on the tier three. Buybacks aren't coming out. Dare we think it, could it be? Navi bringing down the last remaining vestiges of hope for Tongfu. The tier fours under assault. Kuro and Dindi looking to farm the well if they dare come out. They think better of it and move on to the tier three bottom. It's gone. And now the last racks, one's down. Can you say Mega Creeps? Navi, he got him! One more! This is what you call one for the road! Man, I, can't, I cannot believe that they actually did it. Funnick's gonna be running here as well though from Tong Fu. Funnick vacuum back. Lockdown cleaned up. Pretty sure that's not what anyone here cares about. Tong Fu played a phenomenal game two. Played so well for so long here in game three. But the hook heard round the world, Draskal. That first hook that shut them down when they were pushing the last time. And we're gonna see Puppy spotted out. He will be doomed. We're actually gonna see Havos going to work now, getting a kill as well. Puppy, Dindy's there to try and help him though. He's not doomed. Puppy trying to juke him around. And yeah, keeping it on him. There's the impale to follow it up. Puppy still alive. Next through him. GG! Navi has snatched a berth in the upper bracket grand finals from the brink of defeat. A game that looked to have slipped away from them. And they shocked the world. The capacity crowd here on the floor of Benaroya Royal Hall. Arms are in the air. Voices are raised. A standing ovation for the boys of Na'Vi. Very well deserved victory for Na'Vi. I mean, I think what we learned here is you can never count out a Dendi punch. Ever. Never, ever. That fountain hook on how totally turned the game around for them. Absolutely brilliant performance coming out of Na'Vi, coming back from what I think many were thinking was insurmountable lead coming out from Tong Fu. But you still have to give it to him. Tong Fu played a fantastic series. Tong Fu, not out yet. We'll be dropping down to the lower bracket. Looking ahead, though, 
Well, let's get the boys back at the uh, at the chance of death.